I'm Georgia here at GEM Energy and today I'm here with Aaron Hilton who's one of our senior project developers. Aaron, you've just installed a residential solar system on your home, why don't you tell us about it? Okay, great. Um, yeah, so uh, it's you know a reasonable size solar system. Um, we've installed Canadian solar, high-DM solar panels, they're 335 watts. We've got 90 of those up there. So fortunately I've got a pretty big roof, it's an east-west split system. Canadian Solar, they're you know a great manufacturer. We've worked with them a lot, and uh, I'm always been happy with their build quality and the support. And uh, I think they're a real market leader. So really happy with the panel solution that we've got. We've opted to go for uh, a Fronius inverter solution. Fronius again, they're an excellent manufacturer. The components are always very high quality. Uh, their equipment's very reliable. Uh, the feedback that we've had from our installers is they're a great inverter to work with as well. Fronius um, has provided us with a, a Gen 24. It's a hybrid inverter, which means it can have a battery connected and it can manage a battery. So I've coupled that with a BYD uh, battery. Did you, did you want to have a look? Yeah. So I've just got it up on the side of the house here. Really happy with the installation quality that Gem's been able to provide. That's the Gen 24 inverter there. I've also got a Fronius Simo 15 kilowatt as well. So the two can work together with the communications process that Fronius has. The system's east-west split. When the sun is coming up in the morning, uh, one side of the array is getting full sun, and then in the afternoon, obviously the opposite. So what that means is my production is very rarely uh, in excess of 15 kilowatts peak output. Um, whereas I've got 30 kilowatts of PV on the roof. But what I've done is I've modelled it, and because I've got the east-west split, I've been able to get away with 30 kilowatts with very little loss. My home is three phase, which means I can have 10 kilowatts of AC rated capacity uh, connected. The Simo 15 kilowatt, and then the Gen 24 10 kilowatt. Now, this inverter is really exciting. It's one of the first inverters that um, has genuine EPS, so genuine, genuine uh, emergency power supply. So if the grid goes down, I can back up my entire house. The Gen 24 coupled with the BYD HVS 10.2 has a nine kilowatt peak output rating. I can actually back up all three phases. And so what that means, if the grid does go down, um, I will be fine. And if the battery runs flat at night, the sun comes up, the system will come back on and charge the battery. So I can kind of get by for an indefinite period, even if the grid is down. Um, so that's real peace of mind for me and, and for the family. You know, and, and we're speaking with people that have lost power for a considerable amount of time. Yeah. It really is a massive inconvenience. You know, now with the Gen 24 available, uh, it's, you know, it's something you can kind of insure against and um, while saving money on your power bill. So all of this I can obviously monitor from my solar web portal. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't have to come out here and look at screens. I can actually just open my tablet and see what's going on with the system, see how much energy it's producing, uh, see how, um, how much money I've saved. Also, with my car, I can tune it so I can have the car charge at a level that matches my solar production. Yeah. So again, having that solar web portal makes it really easy for me to fine tune that process. Yeah. Technically, with this setup, um, the home's about 500% efficient. Uh, it's well and truly taking care of our needs and maybe a few other houses in the street. So we've been seeing the average size system in the market go from a 6.6 .6 up to now a nine kilowatt system. Yep. And it's looking like it's gonna to continue to rise. What would mm -hmm. be the reasoning behind that? Uh, it's a good question. People are starting to obviously um, realize, like we're, we're dealing with some customers now where this would be their third solar system. So at first they may have got a 1.5 kilowatt. The next system was that more traditional six kilowatt. Now they're coming to their you know, third house where they want to invest and they're really understanding how great solar is. And they're like, what's the biggest system I can get on my roof? Because they understand the feeling that it gives them and the financial return. All the downward pressure on solar and the greater acceptance from the network and then more familiarity with the technical requirements of installing larger solar, it's become a lot easier now to get a, a bigger solar system and a lot cheaper. The ability of the house to connect a large system is obviously the first thing. Is it possible? So I've got three phase, which I, I paid a little bit extra to get three phase connected to the house, which means I can have a larger solar system. Fortunately, there's very good in feed-in tariffs available. 
even if I was full export and I exported everything to the grid and I purely just got a feed-in tariff, the system would still pay for itself in under five years. So I'm investing um, money and getting a, a five-year return or a 20% return. It's making money in a way that's, you know, makes a lot of sense here in Queensland. You know, no one's ever said they wish they'd got a, a smaller solar system. Uh, if you've got the roof, you've got the capacity, then I strongly recommend considering uh, a larger solar system for the revenue potential. Don't just think, oh, I just want to reduce my power bill. Look at it as an investment potential for your family and a way to kind of generate revenue from your roof. Uh, and then once you've paid your solar system down, you can use that money to fund a holiday or to pay your mortgage down quicker or whatever you, you'd like to do with it.